Merry Christmas to you and your family. We'd love to celebrate the holiday with you with the fun and entertaining Christmas light show that illustrates the reason behind the Christmas season by telling the wonderful account of Jesus being born in Bethlehem found in Luke chapters 1 and 2. In the sixth month, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at these words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom will never end. How can this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High will be in you. So the Holy One will be born and will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word be fulfilled in me. And then instantly the angel left her. In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that everyone had to account for all people in the entire Roman world. So to complete the census everyone went to his own hometown to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem the town of David because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register for the census with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son, and called him Jesus. She swaddled him in clothes and placed him inside a manger because there was no room for Mary or Joseph in the inn. And at the same time, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel of the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news and great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you that you will find him a baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Then suddenly the angels left them and went into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who is lying in a manger and when they had seen him they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child Jesus and all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds told them but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the wonderful things they had seen, which were just as they had been told by the angels. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, 
great wise men called the Magi from the east came to the city of Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one that has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Then the King Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make careful search for the child Jesus, and as soon as you find him, report back to me so that I may go and worship him too. After they heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where Jesus was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened up their treasures and presents that they had brought of gifts of great gold and expensive oils of frankincense and myrrh. And on having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country on another way. So when Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. And the young child Jesus grew and became strong, filled with wisdom and glory, and the grace of God was upon him. For God so loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, and that whoever believes in him would not be lost, but have an eternal life with God.